Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for August 3rd to the 4th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Virgo. August 3rd to the 4th of 2023 for Virgo. All right, let's see. Doll, illusion, old wounds, childhood. So this makes me think of the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Eel, what lurks, electricity, dishonesty. Yeah, so there's some illusions from your past or childhood that are coming back up. And with dishonesty, yeah, there were lies that were told or your, yeah, things. Someone lied to you and it created some type of illusion about your past. White dress, appearances, society, gender. I got a wild story. This part might not be for everyone, but maybe your gender is wrong on your birth certificate or you were dressed a certain way as a child to disguise your gender. That's for someone here. That might be for one person. But outside of that, Mm. Overall energy is book, hope, ignorance, revelation. Yeah, you're about to get the truth about this though. So if there was some illusions and lies from your past, whether that's in childhood or recent past or distant past, any illusions, all that's about to be uncovered and revealed. So let's get into the tarot for Virgo. Next 48 hours for Virgo. August 3rd to the 4th of 2023 for Virgo. Yeah, someone lied to you about something and you're about to figure it out. It's about to be uncovered. It may be in a book. You may look back at someone's old pictures and find out that they were a different gender or dressed a different way. Or you were eight of swords. Yeah, it's something that you can't get out of your head that doesn't make sense. Ten of Pentacles is about your family. It's something that just not makes sense. The world, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. And you finally put an end to that or close to that. Maybe you felt trapped in a family situation or you felt trapped in a job, but that cycle is coming to an end. Whatever you felt trapped, it, trapped in or stuck in, it's coming to an end. The hangman, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, someone was stuck sacrificing or deliberating something so maybe you felt stuck dressing or acting or being a certain way and now you're just not worried about it anymore it doesn't have to be gender but it could be simply just being and acting and living a certain way you felt stuck doing that you're not anymore you're freeing yourself from that the lovers giving out the choice yeah you're making an important choice in the next 48 to live the way you want and close the cycle out to feeling stuck or locked out of your inheritance because the eight of swords is like a mental trap and then the Ten of Pentacles, either being stuck in a family dynamic or to relive your family's like, you know, family curses or repeating a cycle. You're breaking out of that, going towards your inheritance and closing a cycle. You're done sacrificing your life or your um, inheritance or your lineage or whatever. You're done sacrificing for this uh, family. <laughs> The Emperor Aries could be involving a father figure. You could be a father figure, this emperor, or someone older, this Aries. Your father's choices. Hmm. Over on just eight of wands. Yeah, a truth is coming in about a father figure, Aries, their choices. This is a lot of major arcana. The world, the hangman, the lovers, the emperor. So you're going to feel whatever this is on a significant scale. And some messages are coming in. I feel like they're going to come in intuitively, but also you're going to get physical confirmation, especially with the overall energy being revelation, something you were ignorant to about a father figure and their choices or their choices to sacrifice. You could have had a sibling and not know that as well for some of you or not realize that because the way this emperor has turned away they kind of look ashamed or they're looking out at something let's clarify something that was hidden about your past or your childhood that someone lied about is about to be revealed
And I feel like it frees you from a mental trap that you were in. And you won't be repeating a cycle that someone else started. Clarifying the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you end up letting it go. You let yourself go. Whatever this is. This doesn't have to be family. I'm just seeing it that way. But it could be anything. King of Swords. So you were all up in your head. An air sign could be involved. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or you could have it highly aspected in your chart. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is justice. Yeah, you get justice for a family situation. You get justice for your inheritance. Because if someone was keeping an inheritance or any type of wealth from you, you're getting justice for that. It's being released to you or given to you. Yeah, someone's forced to let it go. Three of Swords. Definitely in a family situation. I feel like you were there was an injustice here. Clarifying the world is the chariot. You could physically be moving or traveling to close out a cycle for good. Cancer energy with the chariot. Six of pentacles and it balances things out once you leave. Yeah, you're letting go of something. Completely something that you were in your head about. An illusion you were trapped in. A lie. You're letting it go. And you're getting justice for some type of inheritance or path that someone tried to disrupt or take you off of. And you physically moving or traveling is closing out a cycle and balancing things out for you. So you're about to move forward rapidly in the next 48. I also feel like you're going to receive physical confirmation or a message. Clarifying the hangman is the emperor, Aries. I've just seen someone go to their spam box and a message that seemed like just spam to you says you can now move on or you're moving forward or you're in a new cycle. It's just spam. You don't have to click on it or respond. But I feel like you get some type of subliminal message somewhere or, or on a billboard. It lets you know that you're in a new cycle. There goes that emperor again, nine of swords. So now there's this emperor, Aries, or father figure, or older person who's all up in their head, having a lot of anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights, insomnia about you finding out about this. I feel like this person may have wanted to hang on to you or there's some type of sacrifice that they made that they're afraid of someone else figuring out. Clarifying the lovers is judgment, a choice. Yeah, someone's facing judgment for a choice that they've made. Queen of Wands, and there's this fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Where are you, Virgo, in this? You could be this Queen of Wands, very attractive. You could be this Aries, or this Aries and this Queen of Wands could be the same. But I feel like this Emperor is a very masculine energy that's all up in their head. I feel like there's a choice that someone made in love. Clarifying the Emperor is this Knight of Swords. Yeah, when it all costs energy. So there's an Emperor, a controlling or boss type energy who made who had this when it all cost mindset. So you could be this Emperor standing your ground in a situation. Overall energy is this two of cups. Someone is trying to get to you. Like someone's trying to message you. And I feel like this message, I feel like you get the truth before this person gets to you. Yeah, because I feel like with the Eight of Swords, you could have been all up in your head about something, then you're able to let it go. And it's either because of an air sign tells you something and you're and you're getting justice for some type of inheritance. Some type of disappointment that you had about an inheritance or a family situation or some type of wealth that was meant for you, you get justice for it. And you're able to move forward and let things go and things balance out for you. And then on this side, then there's this emperor here who has been all up in their head having a lot of anxiety. So you could be this emperor, you could be this business owner, but I don't feel like this is you. But it could be, I mean, put yourself where you go. You could have had a lot of anxiety, worry, sleepless nights about having to try to see a situation from a different perspective about a choice that was made in the past, a significant choice. And if someone's having to defend that choice and stand by it, having a win at all costs mindset about this, I feel like this emperor is trying to defend themselves on the fact that they chose someone in love or this emperor could be trying to get a second chance with you. 
I just feel like this emperor is having this win at all costs mindset and trying to like defend themselves, defend their choice and the sacrifices they made, especially when it comes to love. But the lovers in judgment, I feel like, yeah, someone's facing judgment or they want a second chance at something. And I do feel like for some of you, someone was one gender initially and now they're a different one. That's for some of you. Either way, you're getting justice. I do see that if it's not a father figure, if not your father or something like that, this is an ex-lover who, who now sees you as a soulmate. Because I was, I was getting that this was deeper than love. This was like a family situation, like family secrets and whatnot. But for some of you, it is just an ex. I don't want to say just an ex. Because that, it may be more important to others of you. Because there's a lot of major arcanas. But I feel like you're uncovering family secrets at the same time you're uncovering something about an ex. And an ex could be messaging you and wanting a second chance. Because you have the eight of wands and the two of cups. Everything's being revealed to you in the next 48. Or you're going down a path in the next 48 where a lot of things are going to be revealed. A lot of revelations and a lot of doors closing. And you being put back on your path to your inheritance. Everything's going to be set right for you. Or be set on the right path in the next 48. I'm sorry that it sounds a little confusing because this is a lot in your reading. A lot. A lot of major arcanas. A lot of energies. But you're getting the truth about everything. And I feel like there's going to be physical messages. Like someone is going to reach out and say something to you. A family member and possibly an ex. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.